Hello y'all, my name is Scott Grove of GroovyMusicLessons.com. They call me Dr. Groovy. That's right, Dr. Groovy. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> okay, I have several, several instructional videos out and have been out for a long time. And if you guys haven't heard of me yet, by golly you have now. Um, today I am going to teach those of you who grabbed this lesson anyway, how to play the McNally Strumstick this guy. Okay, the one I'm using is the big one that is actually tuned in G. So this is specifically designed for this um, particular instrument. Okay, they are offered in different tunings. They can be played the exact same way, no matter which tuning you get. I often have this one tuned different, but this is three stringed instrument. As you can see, or as you know if you have one already, and they are tuned for, this is going to be for people who know how to play other instruments or who have never played anything in their life because this is one of those instruments that is pretty much extremely difficult to make a mistake on. It was quite um, clever the way the tuning was done. So starting at the top string, meaning up towards your face, uh, the note is called a G. The next string down is called a D. And then the last string is another G, just like the first one, but it's called an octave higher. So they're both the same note, but one is definitely higher. So you got two G strings, and the middle one is D. When you play them all together, okay, so it's got quite the uh, sound between a mandolin and a banjo with these little guys. If anybody ever would record with them, they record really well and make for a really unique sound on your recordings. This here is the ultimate travel instrument. You can pack this thing anywhere and take it into the mountains, take it out hiking anywhere. Way better than all the little guitars and so forth. And have just as much fun with it. And again, as I mentioned, it's hard to make a mistake. So, um, really quickly, uh, just to show you what these things can actually do. I'll bring this puppy right on up and show you, and let's show the, as much of it as I can in this particular shot. Okay, so you can go way up here. Okay, so all kinds of crazy things. Um, you can do bluegrass music, old folk music, even country music. You can change chords. Okay, so we're going to do that kind of stuff, playing it with and without a pick. So, um, all kinds of fun things are going to happen. I advise anybody who is ever going to play a stringed instrument to buy an electronic tuner of some sort, whether it be these little guys, you can get them at Walmart or your nearest music store, anything that has a microphone on it to pick these up. Okay, and again, since these are tuned with regular notes, meaning there are no sharp notes, no flat notes. They only put these little lines, which are called frets, these metal pieces, where they would make actual whole notes. We actually have like G, A, B, C, D, E, then there is an E flat here, then F, G, then A, B, C, D, all the way up again. So it takes a lot of all those sharps and flats that people are afraid of, takes them out of there. So. Anybody of any age can play this thing right away, in a day, with no problem. They also make these little clip-on tuners right here for the top of any instrument. It's just called a headstock tuner, or a neck tuner, if you were to ever ask about them. But you can see how easy. See, I need to tune up a little bit. So when it goes green, I am in tune.
So you sit there and turn those and you know right when to stop. So anyway, get away. Once again, I am Scott Grove, Dr. Groovy of Groovy Music Lessons. Again, this is the McNally Strumstick, the big one in the key of G that you will read about from wherever you found it at. And I'm going to teach you every possible thing about playing this thing. So sit back and get ready for a fun ride.